Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe in this trying period. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video, but since I have a lot of free time like everybody else, I wanted to tackle a subject matter that I was uh, thinking about in the back of my head for, you know, for a while. Uh, and it's, that's uh, regarding uh, pen performance in Android devices. So, uh, well, pen... Yeah, performance and uh, pen uh, realities of using Android. Okay, I'm bumping at the camera here. Uh, so I sort of started on this journey uh, again uh, a couple of weeks ago when I was uh, trying to replace my phone. Uh, not because I needed to, because uh, I was bored, kind of more or less at home and bored, I guess. Um, the phone I was using, and I'm still using it, by the way, I will show it to you, but it's the one that's recording right now, is, uh, I'm a cheap guy, I'm very, uh, not very keen on carrying like the thousand dollar phones, uh, even though I could afford it, as I, uh, well, so I've been rocking the Galaxy A30, which is a sort of a lower range phone but high enough in performance and features that kind of looks like a mid-range phone or maybe even a high-end phone if you don't know much about phones uh you know it's got a giant screen it's a 6.4 inch uh with almost like an old bezel um it's got a teardrop uh you know for a camera four gigs of ram with the uh, you know six it's 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 okay it's, it's it's fine. It's for especially for two hundred bucks. What it goes for, it's crazy, right? So these days, it really, if you don't really care about brand consciousness or uh, whatever, uh, this is a perfectly fine phone. It gives up some few cute, few key things, like um, even though it's it's got a pretty nice AMOLED screen, right? That's I would say ninety percent of the experience on the phone is the screen, and it's got a great one. For 200 bucks, but it does have a sl older processor. It's got an A73, 1.8 gigahertz. It's not the fastest, obviously. Um, also, it's got uh, you know EMMC memory instead of UFS or you know you know the current Apple got, got app NVMe. So obviously that they're just going gung ho on the whole high end. Uh, it, it's got USB 2.0 instead of 3.0, you know, it, but it's a solid phone. It's a solid phone. And I've been using it. I've been happy with it. It's all good. But, uh, one thing, uh, that sort of, I did feel was lacking feature set wise was, uh, pen uh, functionality. Obviously it doesn't have it. Not, not a lot of phones have it. Obviously even the iPhones don't have it. Um, uh, which is pretty obvious thing that you should add, but they, I guess, just don't want to. I don't know why they aren't adding it, but that's neither here or there. Uh, so, you know, there's obviously the Galaxy Note line that I could take a look at, but uh, a thousand bucks, you know, I, I'm up, really. And I'm a cheap guy, as I said, 200 bucks was plenty enough for, a, for me to spend on a phone. Uh, so I sort of I sort of relegated myself to thinking that you know a real active pen on a, my phone is not going to happen until I I'm willing to spend like five hundred bucks. Well, uh, a couple of weeks ago I was like, fuck it, let's spend five hundred bucks. Um, so ended up getting this guy. Uh, the lighting is not great. The sun is always fighting, so it's kind of hard to see. But it's a it's a Motorola uh, Z4. Uh, it's a very, let me see if I can get it on the white background here. It's a very plain phone, but it does come with this whole motor mod thing, right? You can add, this is just a cover, but, you know, for instance, uh, I, I bought a bundle for a giveaway free uh, printer. So we can mod that. Hey, that's neat, right? That's that's cool. Um uh, Hey, look at this thick boy right here. That's a that's a phone, right? Um, or uh, whatever you want to add. Uh, that's not the main reason I got it, though. The 
reason that I got it is because I found that it, it actually has pen functionality. It's a, it's a Android phone uh, with a really decent specs. It's a mid-range device. So if I remember correctly, it's got a Snapdragon 710. Well, let's, let's, let's not guess. Let's look it up. Okay, so... Uh, Motorola and see uh, where's Z4? Okay, my glasses I need. Okay, Z4. There you go, Z4. So according to the specs, uh, it's 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 a quite a beast for a mid range. I mean, okay, not a beast, but. It's pretty decent. Uh, the screen is another AMOLED screen, but uh, that was not a complaint that I had on my previous phone, right? The 830. Uh, four gigs of RAM is about the same, but you know, it's got a much more modern processor. It's got a, oh, Snapdragon 675, not 710. But it does have a, a Creos 460 line, which is, I believe, uh, based on the A75 architecture. Versus the A73 of my old, uh, the current, the other phone that I was using, the A30, right? So it's got a, like two generation newer, well, generation newer. Right? They kind of jump from 73 to 75. So generation newer architecture, but faster. Uh, uh, they're both like big little and that's two big cores and uh, six little cores. So that's about the same, but it's got a generation newer uh, processor and you can kind of feel it. Um, it's got more storage, but it's, more importantly, it's got a UFS 2.1, which is a much, much faster than the EMMC 5.1. So it's a mid-range phone now, uh, approximately 500 bucks. Uh, although it just lowered itself to 400 bucks. So I bought it for 500 bucks like a couple weeks ago. Uh, I could probably get it back, back hundred bucks if I want to keep it, uh, because it's still in the within return period, but Anyways, it's uh, the only reason I got it, uh, uh, like I said, was because it's got a, a pen functionality, in this case, MPP, um, which is Microsoft's uh, protocol. Um, so I was curious, how good is it? And then also, you know, the, the pen experience, you know, I already have a really good pen experience in that. The, probably the best pen experience you can have on Android in, in this uh, Chromebook here, which is using Wacom EMR, you know, king of the hill, can't beat it still. Uh, and, you know, MPP or even AES, Wacom AES is a compromise. But uh, the problem with this Chrome pad, the Acer Chrome pad, is that the, the processor is of older generations is op1 processor which is uh if i'm correct something like 1.7 gigahertz or 8 gigahertz uh a73 uh also like two core uh six core big little configuration so so when i use uh um probably the best app currently on android for art which is uh this thing, what the name, what's the uh, official name for it? Uh, they just call it Painter now, but it used to be Infinite Painter, I think that's what it was, right? Um, and it does have some really nice brushes, like this, uh, this one brush that's, I think, uh, tailored by the, um, the artist. It's fairly famous artist on YouTube. Is, uh, I've seen this stuff. It's really good. Uh, Proco. So Proco Pencil is one that I like to use. It's got a really nice feel. Uh, it's got tilt functionality as well as uh, pressure. Um, you know, the thing about, uh, sort of sidetrack here, but the thing about the problem with Android uh, apps is that, you know, they're not really good compared to ones on the... Um, Windows or uh, iOS slash macOS or 
um, what's the new name now uh, for the iOS? Uh, iPad OS. Yeah. So, for instance, uh, probably the second best app that I found was like, you know, the good old Sketchbook, but Sketchbook uh, on Android is like a GIMP version of uh, the ones on Windows and the other places. And I say GIMP not in feature set. I mean, if you look at it, it's got all the freaking bells and whistles, you know, all the, the brushes look like they, you know, it's all the stuff, mimics all the desktop ones and whatnot, but it's the sort of the pen sophistication, right? The, the brush engine. So it, 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 it just, even with the best uh, digitizer, when you do like fast, um, I mean, it, it doesn't feel as sophisticated as on the desktop version. Maybe that wasn't the best example because that's actually okay uh, in performance, but like, you know, just, it's okay when using EMR. But um, I do prefer painters' brushes a little bit, a smidgen more. And it's, it's, I think the, the UI is a little better. You know, it's just, it's just a slightly better program. Anyways, it's, it's probably as good as it gets on Android. So I'm, I'm familiar with this experience because, you know, I have this, this Chrome pad. Whatever, right? Acer Chrome Pad. Uh, so on a phone, it's 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 got to live up to this pen performance, which is a really a problem because it's EMR, it's it's Wacom EMR. Uh, but um, I'm I was hoping that like okay, a better processor, more more RAM, and lots of stuff maybe it'll help make up for it. If I get if if I get close to this experience. Doesn't have to be exactly like it, but close to it. Like for instance, the biggest thing I was looking for was a way to use in meetings uh, Squid, which is a really awesome uh, note-taking app that used to be called Papyrus that used to be on uh, Windows, but they took it away because they wanted to concentrate, I guess, on the market, which is Android. And now it's only available on Android, it's nowhere else, but I love this thing. I used to use it all the time. So I, I basically got this Chrome page just for this app. And you know, it's uh, it, it for note taking, not, not for drawing, I mean, you can draw with it, but for note taking, the, the functionalities are really simple and easy and nice and the, everything works great. You know, the handwriting works great with EMR and it's just the uh, the whole user interface and everything else. It's 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 really simple. It's nice. It's cool. I love it. It's cheap. You know, so I really wanted that for my phone. So, all right, come on. There you go. Uh, this thing has got you know fingerprint sensor under the screen and all that fun stuff. Great, but okay. Let's let's see how. Oh, I just showed you all my. I'll try to blur that out. Um, okay. All right. So, uh, the problem. What's the problem? Well, you can see already here. Um, oh, let's see if that's on focus. Okay. So the pen performance. Okay, I'm not the EMR. I'm gonna use. I don't have a native MPP pen, but I do have a bunch of bamboos here. So this is bamboo ink, first gen, uh, which is not on MPP mode. Okay, that's annoying. Hold on, give me a second. All right, so now it should be on MPP mode. Okay, so it works, it's, but it's, it's not very good experience in that um, it's very shaky. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. Um, so let me just write some. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but it just doesn't have the sort of 
Of course, I'm resting one on, on a table and I'm holding one on the hand, but the the quality of the uh, the the handwriting on the same app and these two devices is quite quite different. You know, you can feel it. You can definitely feel it. It's this is shakier. Uh, obviously, grid density is pretty poor too. You can see in these. I'm not even going slow. These are fairly fast diagonal lines, but look at the shakiness there. Uh, here, even slow, way steadier, right? I mean, it's a bigger digitizer, sure. But come on, that this is. I mean, it should be actually easier to do a smaller digitizer with the higher quality um, grid density because it's smaller, it's cheaper. I mean, you know, I bought this thing for like 300 bucks-ish. This is a $500 phone, so come on. So as you can tell, I was not very happy with the pen performance in this mm, mid-range $500 phone. Let's see if we can show you how the, uh, is there Proco in here? Yeah, it is Proco Pencil. Okay. All right. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's Max. Okay. I got to zoom in. Well, tilt doesn't work. I don't know if that's just doesn't work. If I need a, um, I guess I need the Surface Pen, 100 bucks to make the tilt work. So it's maybe this is not the fair comparison because when you take away the tilt from the Proco Pen, it kind of breaks apart. But still, it's it's no bueno <coughs> experience wise. So yeah, um, for 500 bucks, oh, eh. but then again, you know, it's 500 bucks. But then again, it's 500 bucks. So yeah, I didn't spend a thousand bucks on a note, but maybe, is that what I have to do to get a decent pen? So I thought, okay, let me, let me see what else is out there. And so foolishly, I got on this journey to find a better device with a better pen. So maybe I thought, hey, uh, instead, yeah, I know, note is still there. The, the note uh, 10, which is 1200 bucks. Or the one, you know, the newest one, Note 10. Yeah. I Maybe if I spent 900 bucks. So <laughs> I got I got this uh, crazy thing, which is the, uh, the LG V60, right? And LG V60 is really cool for other stuff. I mean, it's got this the case that's uh, dual screen uh, with, with just like their... Previous V50 and uh, the G8 has this dual screen option. In fact, 900 gets you the dual screen version. If you want just one one screen main phone, it's 800 bucks. So it's way cheaper than the Note. Um, but it it's uh, well, I was surprised to find that it actually supports uh, AES Pen. So that's Wacom AES. So MP, better than MPP, right? So for most case. So I thought, hey. Right, maybe that would be my ticket. Oh, I'm shaking the camera. Hold on a second. This could all come down in a disastrous... Uh... Okay, so let's try that out. I got this a couple days ago. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, well, I'll tell you later. later. So here's another uh, yeah, AS pen, uh, dual roll pen. It's a, it's a Dell's... Um, AES 2.0 slash MPP pen. Okay. Anyways, here we go. Um, so let's go back to our apps here. Uh, we got... Uh, uh, yeah, I keep showing everybody my notes with all my secrets. Hold on. Uh, all right. So I got... I keep getting notifications for from... Uh, yeah, this it's still it's still going on. The world still goes on. Okay. Oh, it's not on AES mode. Okay, okay. Is it wait, is this Dell? No, I got the wrong pen, sorry. 
This is the though. All right. So it should be in AS mode. No, it's not. Okay. I guess they default back to the MPP mode. It's been asleep. All right. So here we go. So yes, AES works. But like, oh my God, you're killing me guys. All right. More notifications. I put it on site. Oh, wait, did I? I thought I put it on uh, airplane mode. I did not. Oh, no, okay. I keep, I ended it. Okay. All right. All right. So, here we go. So, yes, it works. And yes, it's a little better than the, uh, the Motorola Z4 and its MPP. But, um, it still doesn't feel great. Well, the, the lettering definitely is less shaky and less problematic than the Z4 and this MPP. But, you know, I can still feel that it's not as good. Um, Especially using like painter uh, later. Okay. Proco pen. The tilt doesn't work, uh, even though this pen is tilt capable. So, um, yeah, it's 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 not quite there. Uh, As on. I mean, I guess. The point that I'm uh, missing, maybe, is it really was not meant for art. They they didn't, I guess, include this for art more than note taking, right? So for note taking, it's 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 a solid option, right? And for that purpose, I mean, this device is pretty crazy because you got two screens. You can run like, let's say, uh, uh, it can be running note down here, and then you can be also see if I can get like uh, hold on a second I'm gonna go out of frame for a second okay let's say we put like uh, reference material whatever that is on the uh, on the second screen right and then you get the no taking app going on, on on the main screen, and you're like, oh, this person said, blah 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 blah, blah. and uh, so this could be a really cool uh, productivity device, and I, I I get that, and for nine hundred bucks, if you don't care about uh, doing art on it, it's a no taking device. Maybe it's a better value than the uh, Galaxy Note series, right? It is a cool phone. It, the specs are ridiculous. I mean, it's the top top end specs. Other than let's say the screen resolution and the refresh rate, right? It's a sixty hertz screen, but it's, but it's AMOLED, right? And you got two of them for Christ's sake. And uh, yeah, it's only ten eighty p, but you got two of them. Did I mention that? So yeah, it's not fourteen forty p screens, but um, man. And and the quality of the screens are incredible. So, yeah, this is a compelling device. Uh, I and even though I spent a thousand bucks on it, right, with tax and whatnot, <sighs> you know, I'm I just can't get over the fact that it doesn't work as well as this two hundred dollar Chrome Pad that I got a couple years ago. Or taking notes and doing art, you know. I mean, the processor in here is stinky versus something like this. This is a, you know, Snapdragon A65, right? So it's like several generations newer, way faster. It's the it's the clock speed is I think 2.8 on the fastest one, and then the remaining three bit cores are running 2.4, and it's an A76 base like from. Remembering right? I mean, it's a, it's a beast. It's with eight gigs of RAM and you know UFS, you know two point one and fucking 
blows this thing out of the water, but in the day, if I wanted to take some notes, this is way smoother. If I wanted to draw this, feels way, way better. Simply for the fact that it's got an EMR in there. So Wacom EMR still king, still makes a difference. So uh, just to sum this up, it's, it's almost 30 minutes already. Um, I think what I might end up doing is returning this guy. Returning this guy. This guy's just, if you don't care about the motor mod stuff, screw it. I don't care for it. 500 bucks, yes, but it's, to me, not a bargain. This has some compelling case scenario. If you want to go all balls out and just go for the craziest thick boy phone that can do everything, you can leave your laptop and all that stuff. If I wasn't a guy who likes to draw, then I'm sold. If I don't need to draw, then I don't need to take my laptop with me. I just take this thing with me. Yeah, it's a compelling a case scenario for daily usage. Okay, granted, not for the next year or so, we're all stuck at home. But if, if it was normal, back to the normal, which won't be normal for a while. But if it was that case, then yeah, this could do everything. A thousand bucks. But at the end of the day, uh, not just because we're stuck at home for probably another year, but just because I draw a um, thousand bucks on it. I just can't do it. So I'm going to eat the restocking fee and return it. After playing around with it a couple more days, I guess. But um, I think the restocking fee is like 50 bucks. the T-Mobile guy told me. So, yeah. I'm back to using this Chromebook for taking notes. Because it's got gorgeous uh, EMR action. And, you know, another problem with this is the, it's great that it's, it's AES capable, but... Uh, you normally don't carry this in your pocket, you know, you have to have this in your backpack, so. But then again, this is so fucking big that you need to carry it in your backpack too, I guess. So I was going to say that it would be nice if you can just, like, marry this to it, like always, but maybe that's a moot point. But what I'm trying to get at is, I think what I'm going to try next is, and I did order this already on Amazon. Uh, I got a refurb... Galaxy Note 9 on the way for like 300 bucks. And I, you know, EMR, pretty decent specs. I mean, it's, it's the Galaxy Note 9 uh, at risk of uh, going longer on this video, but uh, I think Note 9 has a decent specs. So, we're talking about Snapdragon, well, it's, I think I got the US version. Uh, I mean, it might be international version, so it's got a Mongoose M3. Mm, it's, it's okay, actually, that's, that's about copper with the Snapdragon 845, actually, I think. Um... Either way, uh, it's going to be a much more modern processor than the this Chrome pad. So uh, it should power through the apps a little better. It's got 6, six gigs RAM and US, UFS 2.1. Uh, yeah, man, um, 6.4 inch. It's got OLED. Uh, it does have higher resolution OLED than what I've used in the other ones. So that might, right, that's fine, whatever. Hey, yeah, higher resolution, I can't even see a thing with 1080p this up close, whatever, but whatever, yeah. I'm not going to say no, I guess. But uh, yeah, so for 300 bucks, or was, wait, wait, was it 300 bucks or three, 350? I don't know, it was, it was less than 400, okay? So anyways, that that's what I'm going to test out next round. And I'm gonna, uh, by then I would have returned the Moto Z4 and the V60, but I have, still have the Chrome Pad to compare it to. So if I'm sure it would be similar, if not better experience, just smaller. So I think that's what I'm settling on. And the conclusion is, in Android, EMR is available in glut, so just don't 
bother with anything other than EMR. Just just don't. Just, just save yourself the trouble. AES works okay on Windows. And so MPP does too, to a lesser degree. But, you know, if it's not Windows, don't even bother with those two. Go with EMR all the time, every time. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, please stay safe and uh, stay away from each other for a while, like everybody else. And hope to see you next time.